Good morning, class family. It's a terrific Tuesday. Let's look at our message together. Show me that you're a team and a class family. Follow along with your eyes and listen with your ears. Use your finger to point. Ready? Start in the top right-hand corner with the date. October 15th, 2024. Dear class family, today is Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. First, we will learn letters and sounds. Next, we will do literacy centers. Then, we will do vowels. After that, we will find text features in a book. Last, we will draw, write, and share a message. It is a great day, love Miss Joyner. Oh, it is a great day. Okay, readers, we're going to look back and reread the message. Remember, that's what good readers do. They reread. They do this so their brain can understand the words on the page. Use your finger to point. Start at the top right-hand corner of the date. I notice the spelling for this month has a cap letter O, then C, T, period. What does that abbreviation stand for? We'll say the name of the month out loud. If you said October, you're right. Great job. Notice the capital letter O to start. Good writers and mathematicians capitalize the first letter of each month of the year because it's special and important. They also capitalize the first letter of each day of the week. Okay, readers, we're going to continue to reread from top to bottom and left to right. October 15th, 2024, dear class family, after our greeting, look at the first telling sentence. I notice it starts with a capital letter T and ends with a period. Remember, good writers start sentences with capital letters and end with punctuation marks like period, exclamation point, also called an exclamation mark, and question mark. You will notice as we are rereading that every sentence Starts with a capital letter and ends with a punctuation mark. Okay, today is Tuesday. It is Tuesday, and it's a terrific Tuesday. We will learn a lot at school. Oh, that's true, class family, and we do that every single day. Working on being a portrait of a graduate. We're practicing being a great communicator, and collaborator by speaking clearly with our mouths and listening with our ears. That's what good communicators do. And each day in kindergarten, we are working on being a strong listener. Remember, a listener pays attention, looks at the person who is talking, waits for the speaker to finish talking, and a listener sits still. A strong listener uses their eyes, ears, their mouth is silent, and their body is still and in one place. Are you being a strong listener in kindergarten? All right, class family, at this time, we're going to discuss the sequence of what we're doing in language arts. Remember, the sequence is the order of events from beginning to end. First, we will learn letters and sounds. We will, and we're going to use so many different resources. Shout out to Benchmark Advance. We'll be using your alphabet chart today in kindergarten to help us review letters, sounds, pictures to match that word, and American Sign Language. We're going to be blending phonemes today. We're going to be doing all sorts of things and using the resource you fly, learning how to shape our mouths for all the consonants and vowels. And you know it, class family, phonemic awareness, tapping that beginning, middle, and ending sound and saying that whole word. It's going to be fantastic. And we'll also do the CBC word song where we'll stand up, move our bodies, and break down those CBC words for that beginning, middle, and end, and clapping that whole word. And that's going to help us so much when becoming better readers and writers in kindergarten. 
Okay, so next we will do literacy centers. We will. And you'll log on independently to your iPad for Lexia Core 5 reading program. Pump your brains with knowledge. We'll do some other centers within the classroom. We will practice the five pre-writing strokes when we're writing letters, drawing pictures, and writing numbers. Sky write them with me. Are you ready? Up and around. Touch, pull down, touch, push over, slant right, slant left. Remember to hold your pencil with your index finger, middle finger, and thumb, and use these five pre-writing strokes. That's what good writers do. They use these strokes to help when writing. Okay, then we will do vowels. Okay, so first we need to finish making the t-shirts for the field trip that's later this week. So I'm going to call your name and when I call you, if you haven't made your shirt last week, you're going to be making it today. Remember, you're going to pick out which of the different templates you want for the pumpkin and we're going to be painting your shirt. So when I call your name, come on over to the table and we're going to do that. And after the shirts are done, then we will be doing vowels and continuing. For those of you who are on the language comprehension section, we'll be finishing up this assessment. And if we run out of time today, then we'll just focus on it tomorrow. It all depends on how many shirts we're able to get done in the morning and early afternoon. After that, we will find text features in a book. We will, and we're going to look at a nonfiction text. Remember, nonfiction texts teach, inform, and explain real things. We'll be looking at what do animals need and reading a text within this book using text features. There are so many different things, and we'll have captions, labels, and photographs to help us, as, word, as well as words that are in bold print. So we'll be using text features. That helps good readers to understand nonfiction texts. Last, we will draw, write, and share a message in our magazine. We will be draw, writing, and sharing a message. And we're going to go ahead and do that over here. Oh, my goodness. We're actually towards the end of the magazine, and I believe up oh, page 26. Yep, we're going to be doing this. We're going to draw, write, and share a message, as well as reviewing some other parts within the magazine and practicing being a great reader. And at the end of this week, you get to take this home and keep forever. Okay, it is a great day, Love Miss Joyner. It is. It's fantastic. Get your fans ready. Fan. Fantastic. Our question for today is a do you like question? And the question is, do you like toys? Well, do you? Think about your answer and get ready to be a great communicator and share why. Do you like toys? 